in the previous video on Sisbebanzi is dead, we discussed extensively the background of the play and also the plot analysis of the play. Uh, we discuss how Suzwe Banzi changed his name from Suzwe Banzi to Robert Welling Zimmer and the circumstances that led him to changing of name, changing of his identity. And we also discuss how he wrote his letter to his wife in George, in New Georgetown, where he lives with his wife and four children before he traveled to Port Elizabeth in South Africa. So we discussed the background of the play also, which revolve around the apartheid policy of uh, the South Africa at that time, where your color and identity uh, is a determinant of even the kind of job you will be allowed to do. Today, we will be looking at the characters, the roles the characters play in the play, and also we will be discussing the themes and analyzing the themes in the play. So we will start with the characters and their roles. And um, let's look at some of the characters. I also mentioned the characters we have in the play. In the previous video, we have Asuzwe Banzi, which is also known as the man, and also Robert Welling Zima. We have Zalo, the first person that Zubazi came to his house and lived with him for some time when he came to Port Elizabeth. And we also have Bontu, who is a friend of Zubazi and a friend of Zalo. He was the one that Zubazi was living with him. So, and other characters. Let's start. So, we start with Zubazi. Zubazi is the protagonist in the play. He also known as a robot Welling Zima and also the man in the play and we in our previous video note that we discussed that the play is one art play what is one art play go to the previous video you always have the details and the explanation in that video so he is the protagonist of the play and also is a young african man with a wife and four children and why did he come to Port Elizabeth from his hometown in King Williams? He came because he was looking for work and a better life. He wanted to live in the city. He wanted to work in a place where he will have more uh, money to take good care of his family. And uh, he came to Port Elizabeth for this purpose. Unfortunately, uh, he was received, he was rejected, or his, he was refused permission, official permit to seek for job. So he only have three days to live in Port Elizabeth to seek for job and return to his uh, hometown, King Williams Town. So when he he could not uh, get a job, and his friend Zola tried as so much for him, but he could not get a job. We saw that eh, he went to the house of Buntu, who is also his friend. And then eh, from there, where Buntu took him to, in a restaurant, a bar, where uh, they, they had a kind of recreation. And then they found a dead body on the ground. So the dead body on the ground, and uh, when he suggested to Buntu that the dead body should be reported to the police, Buntu rejected. And I told you also in the previous video that the reason why Buntu rejected um, reporting the case to the police is because of the discrimination against black people and the apartheid policy existing in South Africa at that time. They will be implicated. They will be... The police may even claim that they are the one responsible for the death of the man. And they may not have a strong defense that will exonerate them, that will free them from such allegation. So they decided not to report the case to the police. And also, we saw that the identity card of the dead man that was taken, bearing the name Robert Welling Zima, was the one that uh, Suzy Banzi was using. He removed the, the photo of the man and then replaced it with his own photo 
and what happened next is that uh, he began to bear the name and he also have the permission now to leave and to stay more to spend more days in port elizabeth so he is a good man because he is searching for a good future for his for himself and his family then let's look at another another character this character is called buntu buntu is a friend of suzebanzi who convinces him to assume the dead man's identity because suzebanzi was afraid he does not want to bear the name uh, Robert William Zimmer because he is considerate of his wife, his children. But um, Buntu suggested to him that he can remarry his wife. That is, the wife was married to somebody called Suzy but he remarried to another person called Robert William Zimmer and they adopt the children, which may be assumed as the children of his wife and the children of Suzy to be his own children. And then his identity will be intact. He will be free from any legal implication of bearing the name uh, Robert William Zimmer. And he may be free because the dead man, even when they, even when police recover, uh, discover the dead man, there is no any means of identification that they will say, okay, his name is uh, Robert William Zimmer. So after a lot of persuasion from Buntu, Suzy Manzi re accepted the, the name and he began to bear that name. So you can see that Buntu is a good friend. Buntu is also working in the city, Port Elizabeth, though a black and also suffering a lot of discrimination as a result of his color and identity. So we saw that Boone to help Suze Bansi to get a decent uh, job with the name Robert Wellem Zima. <laughs> so let's look at another character in the play, uh, Styles. You know, he's the first person that uh, knew about the name Welling Zima after Buntu. Star is the owner of the photograph studio in New Britain, Port Elizabeth, which is also in South Africa. He is a courageous man. He worked with a company before, which is Ford Motor Company, but quit the job to set up his own business, which was difficult for a black man at that time. Because most of the black men at that time we were working, we were just uh, laborers in factories, in companies. But you see, Star, he was able to save money. He did not give himself to alcohol or any other vices that will lead to a lot of spending. He saved the money from the money he got from Ford Motor Company and he set up his own business, working as a photographer, having a studio. At that time, as a black man, is a big achievement. So we saw that he is also a very good man and a man of his own identity. So the identity of working as a laborer changed to an identity of a business owner, a CEO of a photo studio. So Star is also a very good, uh, a black man. Star take pictures of all kinds of people, from families to individual, and uh, by that he keep the record of the blacks you know they used to even talk about the blood they have no record before but you see a we see this character style making an attempt to hold the record so that somebody who take picture in the studio can keep the picture and then show it to his children grand grandchildren great grandchildren to work okay this is when i was working with social company so style is uh, a very good and a decent uh, black character in the play now Let's, there is another character again before we go to the Thames. His name is Zalo. Zalo is a friend of Sisve Banzi, which is also living in Port Elizabeth uh, in South Africa. He was the first person that helped Sisve Banzi because he, Sisve Banzi was looking for a job. He also tried as much as possible to find a job for Sisve Banzi, but all his effort was fruitless. And then before Sisve Banzi located Buntu. So Zalo is also is a good character. We have other minor characters in the play, uh, but because of time, we will be looking at the themes in the play now. In fact, without asking, without telling you the themes in the play, I believe you will know some of the themes yourself. Uh, by uh, listening to the analysis of the of the plot which we do in the previous video and uh, by also listening 
to the analysis of the characters in this video. One of the major themes in this play is identity. Why is it identity? Because identity is a criteria for almost everything good in South Africa at that time. So, if you are white, you will have access to social amenity. The, you will have access to live in the in good estate. You will have uh, you will have good salary. But if you are black at that time, it will be difficult for you to get uh, to live in a place where you will have access to social amenity. You have to live in rural areas, and even if you are living in the city, you will be doing media job. You will be doing job that um, that the white cannot do a job that is harder you be the one working so hard but you will be the one collecting a very less salary for instance if you are a university graduate at that time if you are collecting maybe a 500 dollar as your basic salary monthly salary a white person who is also a, a university graduate maybe study the same course with you will be collecting probably one thousand or two thousand dollars will be collecting about two thousand dollars as a monthly salary not because he's doing work more than you not that he's more knowledgeable than you it is because of your identity it is because of the color you are black and you are considered to be inferior we are considered to be second class citizen in South Africa at that time. Even though you are indigenous citizen of the country. So identity is dominant in this play. It revolves around the entire play because all the characters, especially the black characters, suffer inferiority, suffer uh, oppression as a result of their color as the of their identity in one way or the other when Stai was working with the ford motor company he also experienced oppression and uh, uh, subjection because of his color also we saw what happened to um Suzbe Bazi. he has to change his name because of his color his identity and also Buntu also was working but not working, well, not any as much as others who are white in the company because of what? His color. So if you are a, a black man at that time, you have to be using passport, a form of identity. This is not applicable to the whites. The whites do not use something. Their color is their identity at that time. So you could see that identity is a very uh, dominant theme in the play. Then let's look at another one. Okay, this is also a continuation of identity. Uh, you can pause the video and read this area also so that you have full understanding of the theme of identity in the play. Then let's look at the theme of family. Why did this Suzebanzi travel all the way to uh, Georgetown to Port Elizabeth? It's because he wants to get money to take care of his family. Since the believes in family, he believes in taking good care of his wife and four children, and also setting up business and caring for their education. So he aspires to be among the upper class of the blacks. And that is why he is so desirous of getting job in the city, working in the city, where he can have access to a lot of amenities like education, so that probably he will bring his uh, family to the city and give them good education and even for them to live in a very good environment. So family is very important in the play. And apart from the family, apart from that, the blacks also see themselves as family. And that was why Zalo tried as much as possible to help Suzubanzi. Buntu also tried as much as possible to help Suzubanzi. And Buntu tried for Suzubanzi so much, encouraging him and persuading him to accept the identity of Robert Willing Zimmer. Or an attempt to so concerned for somebody who is a family who is a family by color by his identity 
so we see that the family is also a dominant theme in the play now this is the continuation of family also this is the continuation of family and uh, we are going to be discussing uh, the literary devices used in the play the use of symbolism even the black itself is a symbol what does this symbolize subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that when the video is uploaded you will get notified thank you have a good day